Khwaja Ghulam Fried, a great Sufi poet, was born on 26 Zikar, 1845 AD, in Chachara Shri. He was named Khurshid Alam, which was later changed to Ghulam Fried in association to Baba Fried Gan Shakar. Khwaja Fried throughout his life taught people about the complete existence of Islam, humanity, and avoidance of hatred among themselves. Oneness of Allah and love for Prophet, peace be upon him, ran through his veins. Today, the importance and the need for effective dissemination of Waja Ghulam Freed's message regarding love for Mother Earth, brotherhood, and peace is more than ever. Islamic University of Bahawalpur has been playing its role regarding to spread the message of peace of Khwaja Ghulam Freed among its students. Like the poetry of Khwaja Freed, one could see them next to the perfect descriptions of the entire Indus Valley and Hakra civilization. The whole landscape of the diverse flora and fauna of the region is well crafted in the poetry as well. If you read his Divan, you will find that he gives you a cultural understanding of things and events. This is a great thing because uh, in, the most, in the Western world, where there are mystic traditions, they are seldom linked to culture. So this is one of the reasons that he talks of Rohi, he talks of seasons, he talks of the flora and fauna of this area. So everybody, uh, his heart beats for Khwaja Freed. And one of the greatest uh, signs of Khwaja Ghulam Freed is that this whole Saraiki Vaseb is uh, knitted around him. And uh, Freed is in their unconscious, Rather, Fareed is the fiber of their being and people who are even unlettered, uh, they may not be able to philosophize on Khwaja Ulam Fareed, but their heart beats for Fareed. The poetry of the Khwaja with its unique blend of metaphors attributed Rohi to the Garden of Paradise, Land of Beauty and Sand, call it the Sand Dunes, Mountain Night. He called the woman inhabitants of Rohi and the virgins of Paradise, Ghouls. Khwaja Ghulam Freed is a role model for the poets of our age. He is like an oak tree that covers the safe with its shade. Wordsworth wrote about the greenery of the Lake District, while Khwaja Ghulam Freed wrote about the beauty of the desert. He spent 18 years of his life in Rohi Cholistan, and the way he has presented the life there, their miseries, their agonies, and their downtrodden houses. Instead of writing about the beauty and the beauty of the cheeks, he wrote about their miseries, their pain, their fields, Khwaja Ghulam Freed and his beautiful soothing kalams gives us the way to understand the pain and the miseries of the people living in Rohi Cholistan. Khwaja Ghulam Freed carried the legacy of the mysticism in the region. He stood upright in the front of the oppressors and rulers, which is the truest essence of Sufism. Once it came to Khwaja's knowledge that Nawab of Bahawalpur, the enforcement and disposal of several matters, is relying upon strict policies. He considered the concerns worthy enough to write a letter that was one of the most concise in length, yet so deep in meaning to the ruler. That one line that had the whole philosophy of life in it. Zair thi zabar nabar mata pesh povi. Hazrat Khwaja Ghulam Farid was a great Sufi saint of the Bahawalpur region. Uh, he lived at the end of the 19th century and during this period he was the saint laureate of the erstwhile Bahawalpur state and was the murshid of many nawabs of the Bahawalpur state. The message of Hazrat Khwaja Ghulam Farid is very relevant and pertinent today because his message was about uh, tolerance, about uh, accepting diversity in the nature and in today's time when there is a lot of uh, divisions in the society, when there are a lot of forces which are trying to divide the society and people into different groups. Uh, the message of Hazrat Khwaja Ghulam Farid can provide us uh, the needed love, the needed unity in the society. And through this message, we can uh, create an, a spirit of activism in our youth uh, and give them uh, this message so that they can uh, make uh, service of humanity and service of the creation as the purpose of their life. The great mystic quote, Khwaja is considered among the individuals whose teachings, message, thoughts and attributes would be a beacon of light not just for the seekers but for the ones who are left astray. A singer turned the kafiyas into rhymes, immersed into the tunes which then became immortal. The renowned singer of Indo-Pak subcontinent, Pathane Khan and other singers sang the kafiya poetry of Khwaja and touched glory. In order to relieve the poetry of the great Khwaja, Islamic University of Bahawalpur has organized the Kafi Night, where a number of nationally acclaimed artists would sing the Kafiyas of the true mystic. <laughs>
Ireland has so much efficiency that its boundaries exceeded the precincts of the state and it created like a fragrance in the nooks of the world. The way Khwaja Ghulam Freed has given us the lesson of love, peace, amity, friendliness, by practicing all of his lessons, we can end the hatred and abhorrence from the society and can forget glimmers of hope. Let's get the cup of water. I'll get it at the end.